Lesson 12, three properties of quadrilaterals. So we're gonna again flip the page to where we can look at our lesson page. We're on page 640. So it says a quadrilateral is any polygon, and remember we talked about polygons in the first lesson here. So if you need a reminder, that's on page 628. So that polygon, but it has four sides. That's what's super important. That word quad means four. So we have four sides and they're classified by their angles or their pairs of sides. So a parallelogram means both pairs of opposite sides are parallel and equal in length. So these two are the same and then these two are the same. When you do the dashes in the side, that's just showing you which sides are parallel or the same. So these two are the same and these two are the same because these two both have one dash and these both have two dashes. So if we look here at a trapezoid, it only has one pair of parallel sides and that's gonna be this pair here. These two are parallel sides, but they're still a quadrilateral because it has four sides, but it's named a trapezoid. So we also have a rectangle. So um, any measure of angles in any quadrilateral is 360. So as you see here, we have a rectangle and all four corners are right angles, which means they're each 90 degrees. Well, if I do 90 times four, that gives me 360, which tells me that all four of these are that 360 degrees like it's saying up here. So a rectangle is any parallelogram with four right angles, which means it is part of the parallelogram uh, side of the quadrilaterals, but it has to have four right angles. A rhombus is also a part of a parallelogram. You can see parallelogram, parallelogram. This one doesn't worry about angles. This one's all about sides, and it says all the sides are the same length. So this one's looking at all four sides being the same. Now a square has to have both. It has to have um, all sides the same length and it has to have 90 degrees. A square can also be called a rhombus, but a rhombus can't be called a square and we'll kind of talk about that as we go on. So looking at our quadrilaterals, we're gonna name each one. This one is gonna be a square, okay? This one is going to be a rhombus. So as you can see, a rhombus and a square look the same. The difference is, is that a rhombus is tilted. So a rhombus cannot be a square because it does not have 90 degree angles. But a square can be a rhombus because all sides are the same length. So keep that in mind, a square can be a rhombus, just like a square can be a rectangle because it has four right angles. So let's stop and let's make, before we continue on, a, um, it's called a hierarchy. So what we're looking at is how they all kind of connect together. So we're gonna have a box here and this is going to be called quadrilaterals okay and so far we know that there's two main types you have parallelograms and we have trapezoids now under your parallelograms you'll see you had two things you had a rectangle and you had a rhombus. But both of those things also have a square in common because a rectangle cannot be a square, but a square can be a rectangle. A rhombus can't be a square, but a square can be a rhombus. So they all kind of flow together and then you kind of have trapezoid over here all on its own because it's the only one that has one pair of parallel sides. So this is kind of a great chart that we'll continue using as we go on. All right, so let's look at number three. What do we think that is? That's gonna be our parallelogram. And then what do we think number four is? 
that's going to be our trapezoid. Okay, so we're going to look at number 17. Which quadrilateral cannot have four sides of the same length? So we're talking about same length here. So let's go back to our notes. A square has all sides same length, so that can't be it. A trapezoid has only one pair of parallel sides, so are those all gonna be the same length? Maybe not. A rectangle has four right angles, but all the sides are also not the same length, but they could be because a rectangle can be a square. So we're gonna mark that off. A rhombus has all sides same length, so that can't be it. So the only tricky one here is a rectangle, but remember a rectangle can be a square. So therefore it would have all four sides and our answer would be B.